British boxing promoter Ben Gray joins the show live from the United Kingdom. Uh, ben, Tyson Fury is telling the world that Deontay Wilder still has the capacity uh, to win their third fight. Do you consider this a mind game by Tyson or he's actually saying the truth? Uh, I think that's a very good point. It's a little bit of both, actually, because Tyson's got to get motivated. He beat him in fight one. He beat him, obviously, knocked him out in fight two. So he needs to feel energized and scared by Wilder to get the best out of him for the third fight. But Wilder will be dangerous uh, any time he stood up. Well, uh, Tyson Fury is looking forward to, I mean, the trilogy with uh, Deontay Wilder. Boxing fans uh, want to see a unification fight between him and Anthony Joshua. Which of these fights uh, should come first? Well, they've got their mandatories to uh, deal with. So uh, Wilder and Fury has to take place, which will take place uh, later this year. And uh, obviously, Anthony Joshua's got Pulev. He was supposed to be fighting him around June the 20th, but that's now going to be pushed back to again later on this year. So there won't be any chance for them to fight this year. But early part of next year, I think we're going to see uh, you know, one of the fights of the century. All right, um, Ben, you manage and promote one of Nigeria's elite boxers, Larry Ekundayo. Uh, Larry won the European International Boxing Federation title um, after, the, I mean, after beating John Thane in 12 rounds. That was in 2018. Tell us, what is next for the boxer? Well, he obviously uh, defended that title successfully. Last year, we were supposed to be coming and fighting in Nigeria. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But we're actually, Larry was supposed to fight in May time in Russia for a major title. That obviously got postponed. Um, but we will be coming uh, to Nigeria after the COVID lockdown has been uh, released uh, with a major TV station based in the UK to look at Nigerian boxing. It's a really exciting time right now for Nigeria and boxing. And uh, the rest of the world is starting to take note. All right, before I let you go, Ben, uh, Mike Tyson, uh, the legend, and Ivanda Holyfield are considering returning to the ring at age 53 and 57. Who will sanction the fight between two old men who have crossed the retirement age for boxing? <laughs> That's a very good question. Well, I mean, it, no one in their right mind would want to watch it normally, but because of such big names, I was at the first fight. Uh, back in 96 and it was a huge spectacle and obviously there's still uh, heroes in the ring but I think it would be very much more an exhibition fight rather than a real fight because as good as they were they're not you know they're old men now so uh, they don't want to mess with the, some of these young heavyweights <laughs> many thanks to you Ben Gray for your time on the program today